So today we've got a different kind of video for you. It's more of a vlog, at least that's what I'm anticipating. I'm about to go to Michelle's house because she's going to do some repairs on her laptop. She's convinced that she can change the fan in her laptop. I think she's just watched some YouTube videos or something. I anticipate freaking out the entire time that she's going to break in, but we'll see what happens. Let's go. Safety first. Hey folks, Michelle from Digivangelism here, giving you an update on this special, lovely laptop that we did uh, review on last summer. It's been working great. I love the performance, love the speed. One little problem, the fan is stopping. Obviously I called Dell, tried what they told me to do. They said, no, just send it back and we'll take seven to 10 days to get it back to you. I'm like, seven to 10 days? No, I cannot be without my laptop for seven to 10 days because that's my life and that runs Digi. And they sent me this box to mail it back in. So if this doesn't work, I can bury this in this box. Thanks Dell. No, normally the problem I would see is white screen, it says the uh, fan has stopped running. End up turning it off, back on, blah, blah, blah. It's a whole thing. Dell says go into service mode, which is holding down the B and on off key. Turn over and start taking out the 9,000 screws that are in here. I'm only like, 87% nervous. Are you protected if you break it? Yeah. <laughs> so there's no like warranty if this doesn't go well. It'll go fine. <laughs> Update, we're not sure if the screws are getting stripped, <laughs> which is a bad thing. Okay. So I'm not gonna ask about the warranty anymore. <laughs> so as you can see, we've got a lot of little baby screws right here, but these back two are giving us some issues. This one here and that one there, we cannot seem to get out. So I'm gonna try Googling it. There's this one. So that we can help y'all if you're having this problem. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to remove strip screws from electronics. Before we begin, I wanna give a shout out to Jason, one of my good friend's sons, who just started Hi, a YouTube channel. I feel like you're extracting a wisdom tooth. I feel like it's loose. Yeah, it's, it's loose. So the hypothesis right now is that this screw and the other one in the back are gonna stay connected to this part of the computer, but are already disconnected from the actual face, you know, the stuff that we're gonna, the guts. There we go. So uh, I think we'll have an answer very soon or we will have a broken laptop very soon. An hour and 13 minutes later, and we have seven of the eight screws left out. There's always one. There's always one. I'm gonna try to force it open. No, I'm gonna try to pry it open gently with these handy pry tools. Oh my goodness. Is this what being a project manager is like? I gotcha. <laughs> Wow! Look at all those guts! It's the heat sink. CPU somewhere over here. The heat sink processes and ch transfers the heat from the CPU over here to the fan, which is supposed to cool it off. Um, it's probably the battery, it's probably the hard drive. First, we're gonna check the fan. That looks pretty perfect. What, you already got one out? Hey, team tiny hands. <laughs> Ooh, the fan is gone. All right, bad fan over there. Good new fan over here. Do your thing. <gasps> it's not just see that. What? It starts spinning. Yeah. Already? Oh, that's because your computer is on. Don't get electrocuted. You you plug the heart into the patient while the patient was still breathing. Oh my gosh, it's spinning. Tiny fingers. So now we just gotta get those two screws in and then we worry about all the other screws. Are you gonna jump up here and help? We did it. Maybe. Maybe. We gotta, so um, we gotta put the cover back on, plug it in, turn it on, and hope the hell it still works. All right, let's do it. Hi. Well, if your computer wasn't broke before, it might be now. 
It's a Dell. I can handle it. The final screws. What is this little metal piece that fell out? Oh, extra parts. Who cares? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Definitely, yes. Not as loud as it was when it did work. So all we wanted was it to be quieter and to turn on. All we wanted it for was to turn on and stop giving me the error. So the verdict is we are cautiously optimistic. Uh, old fan is out. New fan is in. Came back on. It's running. It looks fine. We didn't kill it. I think we heard a little bit of uh, fan noise coming on. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied right now. What do you think, Molly? Dope.